beautiful people. Let's do a tarot or of oppositions and see what soul messages are coming in. What soul messages? I realize I was shuffling the book in there too. <laughs> like these need a little bit more movement how are you guys doing this this week we have the three of swords and the ten of cups all right i'm getting a reading of someone who is feeling a bit heartbroken right now and this is going to be in the family department uh where yeah where you it's almost like you didn't want to see something and you were feeling very lucky and cups is all about love you were just surrounded yourself with a lot of love there's something you didn't want to see and uh, you put a lot of barriers to that. But now you're feeling heartbroken. I'm so sorry. Let's see what this is about. Oh, these are stuck. If you're feeling stuck, then this reading is definitely for you. We have the Four of Wands. So some of you had like a really beautiful life. Or you have a beautiful life you there's a lot of vacationing here the four of wands can be about travel just this union we have the wish here just we have some really beautiful cards when it comes to the family so this is a confirmation that this is something to do with family the three of swords twice you guys what is going on so okay I see so something really really hit you and um, again we're looking away so it's possible for some of you that it's something you did not want to see and you're getting up like you're, you struggled, but you're getting up from this. I'm feeling like a shock energy, like that you, something that you just didn't expect within the home environment. Let's see, what's coming through? Three of Wands. Something that you waited for and it really disappointed you it it fell through it did not um come to fruition the three of wands is also about travel and this is a an energy of someone who has done a lot of planning there's a lot of stability and he sits and looks at the horizon for his ships to come and but in reverse what his expectations and and his hard work they they felt through they didn't unfold the way they were supposed to so place that where it goes let's ask for what messages or what words of encouragement do you need in this situation three of cups okay it's reversed so for some of you guys this would have been a partner who um, went astray or perhaps cheated on you with the three of crop of cups for others this is going to be a situation where <clears throat> there were people who let you down okay people that you were you were really joyful and 
loving around. There's lots of celebration in the Three of Cups. You harvest these relationships, but they really let you down. And you're feeling extremely isolated with the Three of Cups here in reversed. And well, this one flew out. Yep. The Eight of Swords. Yep, guys, look. Okay, I'm sorry. With this one, I read it as the Three of Swords. And I'm glad I didn't see it correctly because the message was coming through. Uh, some decks have um, double some of the cards, so I got confused. But regardless, this is a situation that... Yeah, you both walked away, but nobody won, and you kind of know know that. Um, but but yeah, you walked away, knowing, looking back, and going, well, what what was this for? <laughs> you know, like it doesn't make any sense. And with the Eight of Swords here, you're feeling very trapped. And usually the message behind the Eight of Swords is a reminder that her feet in the original tarot, um, they're not tied. So she's free to walk away to her home, to her castle. And her struggle is mostly mental meaning that there's a lot of thinking, a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-blame that you're creating for yourself in mentally because even though these people let you down is or this person what I'm getting is that it it's not a reflection of whether you're lovable you are worthy of love you're lovable and you you need to know that okay that other people's other people dumping their energy on you their anger on you or um wanting to harm you in some way is not a reflection of what you deserve you because you deserve to to get up from this and and walk away she eventually walks away to her castle right be and the castle a lot of times represents the self she it represents our our vessel our body so she walks into herself as well there's a lot of spirituality with the the tarot and that's why i i love i love um reading it so it, it i feel that the divine is trying to tell you to not um injure yourself with thoughts of you know what what could i have done differently because i do feel a person who created an amazing a very loving and beautiful home so i'm seeing a very kind person here and if you could see <laughs> through the camera the kindness that i feel that i'm picking up you would understand why this this came through you're being acknowledged and told that you it's not a reflection of your self-worth you really need to know that whatever you're going through so I, i'm sorry you're going through such a difficult time I want you to know that you deserve love that just keeps coming through <laughs> and um, I hope this reading was helpful for someone please let me know and I will see you in the next reading bye guys